Especially with the green wallet, so even though this seems like, you know, you can just grind on it forever, it's probably not the most efficient thing. The green wallet is probably better. But as I was trying to say, yes, Mario went to go get his doctorate in being an actual doctor, treating patients, and then went like, like this is dumb. <laughs> it's more fun to adventure around the place, and I guess the side activity I can do is plumbing as well, and everything else that he does. He plays sports, golf, is a doctor, drives go-karts, he does it all. Mm -hmm. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's actually his gimmick in Super Smash Brothers. Is he's a jack of all trades, but master of none. So <laughs> it makes sense for Mario. He does everything, but he's not explicitly good at any everything. I wonder if that also applies to him plumbing. But in any case, new mini game, which I actually have to admit I failed a few times. So that's why there was a jump cut there. It's not too difficult of a concept to understand here. You have to break the blocks, but oh, I hope you have good hand-eye coordination here because you have to watch Mario and Luigi at the same time. <laughs> and this is another one of those times when you could just be really cheap and get a second person to help you out. <laughs> yes, it definitely is. Just have one person watch each brother separately. Mm -hmm. Eventually, by winning the minigame that unlocks this little corridor of broken cables and everything here, I can't help but think that this university had some amazing experiment here. Look at all these computers and equipment here that was probably churning data about quantum mushroom physics. And guess what? They're all broken and destroyed. Thanks, Kakleta, for setting us back eons in scientific progression in the Bean Bean Kingdom. <laughs> doesn't care, she just wants Bean Bean Kingdom. Actually, I think she wants world domination, not just Bean Bean Kingdom domination. Well, as if you're going to aim for one kingdom, you might as well aim bigger. <laughs> <laughs> also, here we have another one of those rooms with dumb, invisible blocks. <laughs> yes, I believe there's a total of four, however, if I'm wrong, I'll be going back there. But yeah, if Kakleta just wanted to take over the Bean Bean Kingdom, all she would have to do is steal the prince's shampoo that lets him flash his hair, and then he couldn't do his flash anymore, and then she could probably take over the kingdom. <laughs> I wonder how much that shampoo costs. It has to cost a lot. I think I that was like this before. It has to cost a lot for you to be able to blind me with your hair. <laughs> but we don't have to deal with the prince now. What we get to do is do some fun barrel actions. There we go, slip into the barrel. Let's sneak- oh, we can't sneak around. Sadly, Luigi can't jump while in the barrel. <laughs> there we go. You see, you need a spring barrel to be able to jump around, but then you jump around like you can hardly control it, and everyone hates the power-up. <laughs> spring barrel! <laughs> One little thing that I like about this game is when you are running around as Luigi in the barrel and Mario jumps on top of the battle barrel, he goes, Woo hoo hoo! And I just love that. <laughs> it's a really minor thing, but I just like it that Mario has his own little sound. Yes, let's go on top of the Luigi barrel. <laughs> Alright. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and move ahead and save, but there's actually a side room that I haven't shown off yet. Let's go ahead and jump cut to there. To our left, you'll notice just three rooms sitting all over by themselves. When we were, there's no requirement to go into these rooms, but as you can see, there are some, I'm gonna guess, either robots or university students that are experimenting with the grand digital upload in our digital bodies. Um, the coin block rooms. These are awesome. <laughs> yes. And not only do they have coin blocks that you can play with, they have chronologically listed previous games coin blocks too. Oh, this is so beautiful. I remember when I saw this, I was like, yes, look at all those. <laughs> and we can see how the coin block has evolved from eon to eon in the Mushroom Kingdom. You can also see how every single one of these blocks looks ten times better than the block that they actually used in this game. <laughs> At least I personally think. They didn't put an invisible coin block in the last spot, yeah. and that disappoints me. Mm -hmm. So along with the chronolo chronological history of coin blocks, we also have a couple of coin blocks here that we can practice on. And in my personal experience, the coin blocks in the game are pretty intuitive, although this is the first time we run into the random coin block, which is honestly random. It randomly goes from Luigi to Mario, and you just have to hope you're hitting the right brother there. 
Also it's probably here. one of the most. Oh, I was gonna say here's a fake box. one of these, even though I mean you could just do the real one infinite number of times apparently. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, I, we see a couple of those coin blocks like hidden in suspe suspension from an electrical currents, and it makes me wonder if they're actually constructing coin blocks. And you'd think coin blocks would come from a coin block assembly line, not from a uh, scientific laboratory, but... <laughs> how do coin blocks work? It's like asking how do pokeballs work. It's like, probably best not to think about it. Yeah. No, it's not. The way pokeballs work is the exact same way capsules work in Dragon Ball World. <laughs> Somehow they shrink things. How? Magic. Yeah. What did you call this thing last time we saw it, Higsby? This one looks a bit different, although last time I called it the Mask of Chaos, but that one's more metallic. It almost looks like Andros. <laughs> yeah, so as you could probably anticipate, we gotta get a barrel over to Mr. Andros' face there. If you actually paid really close attention, you would have noticed that his fireball slightly went at an angle, which may become relevant later on. So by the way, the order, because I was paying attention that time, it's blue to yellow to red to blue. Good thing I was paying attention, because I didn't actually explicitly have that marked down. <laughs> hey, a good stash level up. Nice. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of viruses running amok around this entire university. I'm kind of hoping Mario and Luigi don't catch any of them, because right now they're contained in the university, and we kind of don't want those things running amok, because the way you get rid of these viruses is literally more viruses. <laughs> if only it was always that simple. The, the disease that kills itself oh, when there's no. just so many people who have it. Self-ending disease, okay. It's just a disease that causes chaos, and once it's done having its fun, it leaves. <laughs> that sounds very chaotic. Sounds like something the evil Pop-Tart would approve, actually. Mm-hmm. He'd also approve of my level-up decisions right now. <laughs> Stash. <laughs> I've got that cobalt necklace on Luigi, you know? Mm. So... That kind of doubles the manliness of this his stash. <laughs> However, in the world, wearing a cobalt necklace does that. Uh, there's this block just suspending in midair, and I can't hit it right now because it's just there. I remember the first time I played this game, I looked at that block and I was thinking to myself, "Am I gonna get a Koopa shell to kick that?" Yeah, it's just kind of, the way it's kind of floating there. I was like, "What?" <laughs> yes. There's a big wall in our way there, so that's not the passageway to go. There was actually a button that I need to go press back this way. Come on. Our high jump is just barely enough to make it up there, and that leads, it lowers the spikes actually, to an underground duck that we're going to have to run around in as Mini Mario. There we go. Say hello to the world's happiest maze. <laughs> yeah, it seems like whenever Mini Mario is involved, there's always some kind of maze. Seems like it. He fits in small, tight corridors. But th this would have to be a scary thing. Just think of all the video game mazes and ducks and other small areas that you've gone through as a kid. In real life, the, if you have any way, shape, or form claustrophobia, it would be a, a very bad experience for you, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> but thankfully to Mario, you know, he's a hero. So, he's not afraid to become small and go into this little corridor. I guess if go. you can take a hammer to the head and be okay... Going through tight spaces isn't too much of a big deal. <laughs> you gotta have a lot of trust in your brother to trust him in hitting your head over the head with a hammer. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. There we go. Let's go ahead and get in the barrel and let Andros shoot actually from this barrel to the next barrel to the power switch. <laughs> wow. I never knew barrels had such deflective properties for electricity. No, Luigi! Now we're Mario alone. By the way, if you hit the other barrel, that happens. Wow. <laughs> Just wanted to show you what happens when you choose the wrong barrel. The statue gets extraordinarily angry and he's like, No, you chose wrong. You moron. Look at the puzzle again. You have two choices and you chose wrong. <laughs> And he just comes over and blows up? You don't have to battle him or anything? Nope, he, he just blows up and you restart the room again. 
that's really all the punishment there is to this. This isn't like, uh, since I've been recently playing Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, it feels like every minigame in that game, if you fail it, you have to uh, expend coins, and this game doesn't do that. Hmm. But yeah, we've got a little bit of a Mario alone moment here, actually, and this moment's actually long enough that by the end of it, Mario's now going to be the overleveled one, and Luigi's going to be the underleveled one, so... When I was saying these alone moments generally line up, um, they do, but... When you are alone, you have a picture of your brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and just because it's relevant and I found out about this playing through this area a second time, I had the Great Force on Luigi, and I noticed that Mario wasn't doing his double damage anymore because it was on Luigi, and Luigi's technically not with us anymore. Ah. So the game is smart about it. But can you change his equipment while he's not here? You can, actually. So... <laughs> Yikes! Hey, okay. what does this look like? It's Donkey Kong! Yeah, we're jumping over barrels. This seems really familiar. Where's the hammer? I guess you have the hammer. Can you break I the barrels the with the hammer? I need to try that now. <laughs> you probably can't, actually, but it's a brilliant idea. Wow, that's a trollish crane. <laughs> I literally made it up to Luigi, and then Luigi just got taken away. Uh-oh. <laughs> Talk about the world's most nauseating barrel ride ever. Wow. <laughs> that hit the switch for us, though. <laughs> Luigi might need to um, uh, get a sec to regain his equilibrium. <laughs> He's a sturdy man, though. He got it back pretty quickly. <sighs> we actually saw there the power of hugs. <laughs> One quick hug, he has his equilibrium, equilibrium back, and look, I can high jump again and everything, and... Yes! <laughs> FYI, because I know someone's going to comment about it, yes, I did miss some item blocks at, at the time of this recording that I just flat out missed. Gotcha, you with your comments already ready in the comment section. <laughs> Guess I'll delete mine now. No, <laughs> Alright, what do we got to do with the water? We're gonna learn the next thing we can do with water. You can spit a giant jet out by jumping on top of Mario, or you can shoot out a ball of water by hitting him over the head with a hammer. <laughs> in that case, that lets us press this switch because there is a fan in the way. Gosh, I love this intricate set of like lights that ultimately leads up to that light at the end. <laughs> Just placed throughout the university as before. They must have been doing some weird quantum mushroom physics experiment with lights. And they had to have strung lights all over the university in order for it to have enough room for, like, the photons to travel until it ultimately was able to, like, collide with other photons. Someone in the quantum physics world tells me, tell me, what happens when you mash two photons together? I know it, like, you get stuff when you mash two protons together, but what about photons? It's been so long since I've studied physics, and we barely touched on, on quantum physics, just the basic quantum physics, so it's like the area of physics I know very little about, actually. I did a bit of physics in high school, although I don't remember Nothing much. quantum, huh? <laughs> no. Ooh, what do we got here? Well, Fawful and Cacletta completed their preparations after destroying the school. <laughs> the school is just going to lose its entire prestige from Cacletta taking over. This school is probably the most prestigious school in the Bean Bean Kingdom, and now no one's going to want to go to it. For until they make the new Hoo Hoo University. In any case, we're given a lot of good healing items and a save point, and you can see that Cacletta is kind of in a room ahead of us, so... Hmm... We must have made it just in time. Like, go, go attacker! Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. Triple uh-oh. That was one peeved off bean star. <laughs> Very angry. So instead of granting a wish, it got extremely angry. That's... yeah. That's what we like to call a twist of fate. Or a plot twist, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. 
Yes! Well, Cacolotta wasn't exactly ready for us, but you wanna know what? She'll amuse us with the battle. Woo! Gosh, wow, you are a scary one. <laughs> this is Cacoletta! Yes, we actually fight her. Her first attack is these holes here. She does it occasionally throughout the battle if it lasts that long. She actually has a lot of attacks that I want to go over, and I just don't have time for it because it's like we're already in battle. That first attack, if you get hit with it, Luigi now has a status effect known as Heavy. There's two status effects, light and heavy. The heavy one, it increases your attack power, but it also makes you heavy, and it makes it really, really, really hard to dodge things. The light one is obviously the other equivalent to it. The light status ailment increases your defense, and it also makes it a lot easier to dodge things. I decided this battle show off both status ailments later on, but... Um, to get to Cacletta, you'll notice her main attack is to raise up one arm, and then all of a sudden there's a lightning strike out of the middle of nowhere. That attack actually does a lot of damage, in case you didn't notice. Like, if I would have had the Great Force on at the start of this battle, I would have probably already been dead. So you have to pay attention to which arm she raises. If she raises them both, it, both lightning strikes are coming down at the same time, so that one's easy to figure out. But hmm. um, when she just raises one arm, you have to figure out which one's going to Mario or which one's going to Luigi, so... She... yeah. Mm hmm did you know which arm is which one? I kind of missed it the first time. Oh, uh, when it's towards you, it's to Mario first. When it's away from you, it's to Luigi first. Oh, ah, okay. All right. As you'll see here, to Mario first, then to Luigi. Hmm. Nice. It's something you really do have to get the timing down to, because as before, it does so much damage, you have to dodge that attack, or else you're not winning this battle. <laughs> wow, did you see that light status sample? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So the, these bats, you, you can kind of actually see which one's going after Mario, which one's going after Luigi from their shadow, but uh, otherwise you, well, you want to dodge them because otherwise you take damage, but the other thing they do to you is they can poison you, and that's no good. You really don't want to deal with that at all. Poison's very bad. So when Cacoletta does go into three different forms, you have to find the real one to actually do damage to her, and theoretically that is where a advanced Bounce Brothers becomes really good. The problem is I stink at advanced Bounce Brothers, as in case you couldn't tell, so... <laughs> Is it so not you, worth to use kind of the simpler one, like the version of it, just to make sure that well, you, know, you get some Well, regular Bounce Brothers just attacks one enemy's, Advanced Bounce Brothers attacks two. So you could knock out either both of the clones or one of the clones and figure out which is the real Cacoletta. Because once you attack the real Cacoletta, the other ones disappear. Mm -hmm. So if you attack two at once, you either missed her or you got her, and the chances of you missing her are one in three, the chances of you getting her are two in three, actually. Hmm. Alright, so I decided to play a little bit ballsy here. I'm like, okay, hot peppers. Heavy status ailment. I think I can do this. Just heal up Mario a little bit here because, yes, this is going to be a little bit risky. Alright, oh, first things first is I selected the wrong bro stack there. <laughs> At second thing second, I completely messed it up because I selected the wrong one. But let's do this. No, no, no. That's very bad, actually. And I... yeah. That was a very dumb idea. So uh, avoid this heavy status ailment unless you're really, really, really good at this game. This is the moral of the story right here, because I almost just died. Good comeback, though. <laughs> it really is frightening when you have to pick up one of the other brothers and kind of and you deal have the with the delayed them. <laughs> jump, yes. Especially with that lightning strike that just comes out. And you have to anticipate. And Mario's HP is so low, I can't even use the refreshing herb. Oh, I messed it up there. Me not paying attention to the hand again. <laughs> At least I got the real one, so I didn't have to deal with another bat attack. But heavy, you can actually offset light and heavy if you eat one pepper type and then the other pepper type. You actually gain the effects of uh, defense increasing and offense increasing, and you're back to normal. You're neither light nor heavy. Hmm. So that's the smart thing to do instead of using them separately. Because as you probably can guess with this game, a good defense is a good offense. <laughs> and just eating the mild peppers, yes, it makes it easier to dodge things, which is pretty cool, but... You want the offense, don't you? Mm-hmm. There we go. I actually think if this battle would have gone one more round, Cacoletta would have gone back to her uh, attack where she releases all the shadows and you have to jump over all of them, but I actually just killed her right there. Nice. There we go, and she had a lot of experience to give us. 
Not gonna complain. <laughs> Not gonna complain about a level up. So I actually thought this battle was a little bit sloppy, so I was thinking about doing another battle, but ooh, that was a good power level up. Now I'm kind of inclined to keep that battle. <laughs> that was very good. That was a plus five. There, there wasn't anything wrong with that battle. It was fine. Okay, I was honestly thinking about re-recording it, but then the moment this happened, I'm like, no, I'm not re-recording nope. that. <laughs> nope. Get the pow! Alright, let's cut over to another battle. This is one version of the battle that I did with the Great Force enabled, and I've got both peppers down. After finally a couple attacks, which I dodged successfully. Um, watch how quickly Cacolata can go down if you have the Great Force enabled, because this is the first time I'm actually attacking her legitimately after dodging some attacks. And you can see I'm walloping on her pretty bad. Wow. <laughs> but uh, these lightning strikes, if I were to get hit from them, um, are like 100 damage. <laughs> but as you can probably imagine, if you can dodge boss attacks, bosses go down extraordinarily fast with the Great Force. She's done already. Nice. Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to our plus five on power <laughs> level ups. Because, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 